Put yourself first in everything that you do, in every aspect of your life. Be your biggest fan. Be your best support system. You know you. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and as you can tell from the title, today I'll be showing you guys how to make your own passion twist at home using Brazilian wool. And I'm using this very old Brazilian wool that I have at home guys, but guess what? The tutorial came out looking so beautiful, like it's so lush. So I'm simply unraveling my extension oh sorry my brazilian wool i've been so used to extension and i'm busy unraveling my brazilian wool because guys it's been so tangled like i think this has been in the house for even no more than six months it would be a year but just keep watching for the detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own at home and also i have a very very interesting information for you guys at the end of this video you do not want to miss my name is adini and i am a lifestyle content creator based in abuja nigeria i share air tutorials that i grew up learning and i'm actually so much in love with sharing this tutorial i find them very very innovative and I think you actually spend less when you make your own air at home i'm an advocate for making your own air at home and that doesn't mean i don't go to the salon so after i have successfully unraveling the um brazilian wool and i keep saying um, um because brazilian wool is not something that i'm so used to so i'm just measuring it out and i'm doing that um from the window side and just measuring it out and you would see how this would turn out and this is also to help me um know the length that i want to cut my brazilian wool into now that i have wrapped everything around and i have a good length so i'm just cutting it up guys i have been searching for scissors in all the stores close to me and i can't find scissors like in my head i'm like is there scarcity of scissors i don't know so i have to use this very small one from my cortical set or is it nail set or whatever they call that thing and it's not even so sharp but i was able to work with it guys i don't know where to find scissors in this abuja i probably go to like a bigger market and stop searching around in the estate so i went ahead to cut this into like a length that i was comfortable to work with and also just know that the longer you cut this extension the longer your um hey god it's not extension the longer you cut brazilian wool the longer your passion twists would come out and i actually don't want something too long because the style i intend using this for is going to be just maybe like like my shoulder length so that was why i went for this length as you guys can see please if you're new on my channel and you haven't subscribed be like be like what are you waiting for i have a bundle of helpful tutorials air tutorials to be specific on my channel and a bit of interesting vlogs that i know you might be interested in watching so please just, please click the subscribe button join the family it's fun over here like we learn new things every week on this channel and i know you don't want to miss out so let's keep watching no so now after um cutting my extension here god after cutting my brazilian wool into my desired length one thing i noticed is that some of them were a bit longer than the other which is actually okay if you're going for a layered look now i am going as i've had this straws since like lockdown and that is what i use for most of my air tutorials you can use any straw you have you can use just something that is of this size and that you can wrap around with i know some people use i don't know what that stick is called like suya stick meat but this is what i have and that is what i'll be working with so at this point if you notice that this brazilian wool is in strands like it's um you can count the strands so what i went ahead to do is to use 12 strands each to like count 12 strands each and that is what i will be coiling with and the reason why i decided to count my strand is because it's going to give me like a uniform coil imagine if i coil a part 20 i call coil a part 10 i call a part 12 strands each the colors are going to be thicker than each other so i used 12 strands each to wrap around each um straw that i was wrapping so now guys 
this might get tricky but no do not worry i am going to show you guys a clearer look of what um the wrapping is like so what i did was that i would pick my straw and tie the upper part of my brazilian wool to my straw just a little bit like about it about an inch yes about an inch just to secure it to the straw and after wrapping it as you're wrapping you're twisting the brazilian wool that is what will give you the effect of the passion twist as you're wrapping you're twisting the brazilian wool as you're wrapping you're twisting the brazilian wool and after wrapping it around i just fold the straw over and i'm using um the tiny black rubber band to secure the tip so it doesn't unravel like so it doesn't flip over and my curl does not loosen out if you have um what's it called if you have pin like air pin you can use that to hold the the ending part of your straw when you fold it back up and also if you notice that as i am twisting my brazilian wool around the straw i am also making sure that there is no space to in between my curls and also that will help your passion twist have more definition it will give you like close coil pattern and if you make if you make it with space in between there would be um the core pattern will be loose that's just it the core pattern will be loose and no that is not what we are trying to achieve over here we do not want a loose core pattern we are trying to achieve passion twist so that is what each of the strand looks like and i think i ended up having about 14 or 15 strand so now when i was done um, rolling everything i put it into the bowl and i put hot water over it and this is just to let you guys know that i did not add any extra products to my hot water the only thing i added to my cold brazilian wool is hot water and i did this because i wanted to see what the brazilian wool will look like without adding any products like plain brazilian wool and guys i actually left this for a whole day like i left it to a dry on its own i didn't use any external heat if you want to it's okay but you have to make sure that it is perfectly dried like if it's not well dried your work will not come out well and we don't want that over here we want something to come out well and looking pretty so i just went ahead to unravel everything individually and guys if you make a lot of strands this will take you a lot of time because you have to be patient with it as you can see me doing in the video you have to like be very very patient because imagine something that you've done for how many hours and lack of patience is going to ruin it so you have to be very very patient now let's enjoy some some ashake beats i guess mm -hmm. so many reasons we are wanted for you my love now you want to retire with my love see all the little good things you do they make me na 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 this distance is taking the hold of me for sure. Maybe come closer. Oh my, I want to make me day. Ah, I want to make it. Sorry about that. It's not a shake. So what I was doing at this point is cutting off the ex, like the um the end part and the upper part that I explained to you guys that I was tying and the part that didn't have the curl pattern. So I was just coiling it, um, cutting it off, as you can see from the video. And now my tip from the beginning to the end is literally coil like I was actually very shocked with the effect of or with the effect or the turn out of this um, passion twist because I use Brazilian wool and this is actually my first time using Brazilian wool for something like this and it came out so beautiful and it, it's it's had this um, this shine I don't know if you guys can tell from the video but it had this shine in it and that was why i had to mention to you guys earlier in the video that i did not use any products to it like just brazilian wool and hot water now guys if you're a student or if you're planning to make extra money this christmas or this holiday season 
this part is very essential for you and this is why i said make sure to watch up until the end so i'm going to show you just as you can see me doing you can pack this passion twist this brazilian passion twist and sell it at any price of your choice and this is actually me trying to unravel it to see if the curl pattern is going to get scattered or if it's going to get tangled and no guys the curl pattern was still just there as beautiful as ever and can i say that i spent how much one brazilian wool cost about i think 400 naira in the market now and that is all i spent in this video with a bit of my time to make this guys guys you can tell that on me me i like to save money and this is just me sharing with you guys another saving act so i'm saving this for my next hairstyle guys make sure you're subscribed make sure you turn on your post notifications so you will see how i restyle this passion twist in my next in my coming video because i'm not sure that is what you'll see next but in my coming video guys that's it that's it that is it babe so pretty like this hair came out so pretty so shiny it's it's actually very nice it's very nice that's just say thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my very next video and thank you guys so much for the love on all my previous video i do appreciate it bye